What's up guys, it's your boy official back here with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be hiking into a few high mountain lakes. The first lake we're gonna be hiking to is in the Mount Washington Wilderness area. All of these bodies of water are in the Mount Washington Wilderness. And this first lake we're going to is called Benson Lake, 1.7 miles. From what I can see, it's a very cool lake. I think about 30, 40 acres, and uh, it's chock full of fish from what I hear. I have three rods with me two spinning rods set up for bait and then i have a fly rod but benson lake is the first lake uh, there are some other small lakes past that that are a little bit farther they are very small all three different lakes have three different species of fish so we're going to try and catch some and see what happens you guys stay tuned this is a new experience for me like i said i've never been to these lakes um there's a ton of them up here we're not going to hit all of them but we are going to hit a good amount it's going to be a really nice october day and uh, let's hope the fish are biting fingers crossed Here's just a taste of the fall colors I've been seeing so far. Assuming we gotta be at least half of the way there. What I'm gonna try and do is before I get to the viewpoint, I'm gonna try and get my phone out, film my reaction to seeing this place because I think it's gonna be really cool. And again, I'm all new to this, so we'll see what happens, but I'm really excited and I'm feeling confident about my chances. I think we're right about to be coming up on the lake. There's so many people on this trail for an October day, but Assuming fishing is good or even great, this is unbeatable. Oh yeah, I can start to see the lake. Wow, oh, check this out. It's kind of hard to see from here, but we'll find a trail down to the lake and uh, start fishing, see what happens. Here it is. So I shed a layer because I was sweating profusely. And uh, we are now at the lake and this lake is just, I mean, once that sun hits that water, you can just see how deep it is and how beautiful the water color is. Check this out. This is really cool. I don't see any fish so far. I'm gonna try this little corner right here to start off. Like I said, I'm feeling really good about my chances. I really don't care if I catch small fish. I just wanna catch something here, but I mean, man, this is, this is really cool. All right, so I re-rigged one of my poles from bait to lure, so I now have bait, lures, and flies set up. Oh, look, there goes a fish right there. That one was tiny, though. I can see some real small fish kind of just surfing the shoreline. It's hard to tell what they are, but... This lake doesn't look that deep, but I'm sure the water clarity affects that. In reality, it could be up to, you know, 30, 40 feet. I can't remember exactly what I saw online, but... You know, it's definitely, you know, a good sized little lake. I think if anything, for fishing wise, might make it a little difficult because of how see-through the water is. What I'm probably gonna do is fish a couple of these coves, just keep flipping around a lure. If that doesn't work, I'll probably switch to worms. And if that doesn't work, we have flies as a fallback. And that may be the most important thing to use this time of year. Just absolutely beautiful, you know, little gem of a lake. Ah, shoot. Well, there goes my lure. Just snapped all the way off. This line must suck. Well, time to use worms, I guess. All right, we're fishing with worms now. I just threw a whole worm on. I only brought a dozen, but uh, not really sure how snaggy it is out in front of me. I can't see, so this may be a bad idea using a sinker and letting it sink to the bottom. But if we don't get caught up on something, I don't see why this wouldn't work. But I still may come back later and put a bobber on. So we'll see what happens. Set my pole up on some rocks. I mean, just look at these fall colors right here. It's so cool. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna walk around this lake a little bit while I let it sit there. That's why I like lure fishing better a lot of the times because it's more interactive. You're always doing something. So, but bait fishing can often be more effective. Again, I'm just gonna walk up here a little ways, scope things out a little bit. And it looks like I see some big rocks out here. This might be the spot. As you can see up that way, there's kind of a cliff and over there, there's another cliff, a few coves throughout this place. The biggest cove is where we just came from, of course. There's a few other places that look promising, but it gets real deep right here. I'm gonna make my way over to check on my pole. I doubt I have anything, but if not, I may just move over here. Really in no rush to get out of this place because it really is a thing of beauty. It's, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, I'm sure, but definitely a different lake. You know, trout are cold water fish, so I would think that October would be a really good month in some of these lakes that aren't fished very often. There we go, I feel a lot better about that one. It should be one of the deepest areas of the lake where I just cast it, but you know, I don't know. The tough part is finding something to have this lean up against.
Oh, do you see that? Watch that. Yeah, so flies are what I need to be using right now. That's kind of what I figured. All right, we finally started seeing some fish jumping. Looked like maybe the same fish. They were going after flies, and uh, looks like the sun's starting to hit the water better. I don't see any fish over here, but a lot of potential with this lake. We might leave pretty soon, so I'm going to try and fly fish for a little bit, and then we're going to hit some other lakes. Oh, there's one chasing it. Sometimes these fish are very picky when it comes to even natural baits. A lot of times I see people come up to lakes similar to this and it's almost like you have to bobber fish near the bank with uh, a periwinkle rather than a worm. Because for some reason, you know, maybe they know that worms just aren't naturally found in water. What I am going to do is try and, when you're fly fishing, you always want to match the hatch, of course, which is basically picking your flies based on what kind of flies you see around here. And the ones I see are almost, they're browner, but they're bigger, they're you know, more like moths. So right now I have on a black fly and my fly is kind of disintegrated. So I could either keep that on, see if it works. If not, I'll switch to a brown one, most likely a caddis or something else like that. Yeah, there's a lot of small fish in this lake. From what I saw, there's obviously good sized fish in this lake, but a lot of them may be out there way into the deeper area. All right, we just left Benson Lake. My guess is we're probably about halfway from Benson to Tennis Lakes. Tennis Lakes are a lot smaller lakes. It's more like pools. They do have fish in them. I tried flies, lures, and worms at the last lake. The best I could do was after I stopped filming, I got one to bite it and then immediately let go. Check out that cool fall foliage down here. This high elevation, it's easy to get out of the breath, so it's hard to film and hike and carry my stuff at the same time, but sure that's understandable right so it looks like we're approaching the tennis lakes area um what i see is a clearing up here and i haven't seen any water yet but i know we are getting really close it looks like this trail continues to go left and come out of the lakes would be my guess so this area is actually close to camping right now but as you can see we're coming up on some water wow this is cool. This is almost cooler than the last place. Wow, it's actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought. They're quite a bit bigger, actually. All right, we have arrived at the second lake. A lot bigger than I had thought, but apparently there are small fish in here. We'll see if their eating habits are any different. We can catch any on lures. Right now I'm in the small end of the lake. So you can see down there, that's the bigger end. Looks deeper. Seen one fish jump since I've been here, but we've only been here not even five minutes probably. And uh, this is my first couple casts, but uh, that fish that jumped was very small. So to see if I can work my way over there, it looks like it's gonna be a little tough. But if uh, nothing works, we may need to uh, switch over to the fly. problem with these high lakes is these fish are really finicky and you know this time of year like I said it's a wild card so I'm doing what I can still got a lot of uh tricks up my sleeve left hopefully all right this little cove right over here is a lot deeper probably gonna take a few more casts with this lure and then I'm gonna probably throw out a worm there and just leave it there for a while oh look at that look at that right there I don't know if you guys could see that but a fish just came up right to the surface almost for it all right one more cast and then I'm switching to bait Oh yeah, if that doesn't work, I'd be totally shocked, but did not put a bobber on just yet. I'm experimenting here and seeing if I can do the same thing and get a different result. All right, I'm gonna reel this in, see if we have anything, and move over to that cliff side. We're probably gonna go check out some of the other lakes after this. Supposedly there's a couple more little lakes, probably smaller than this, so our chances of catching something should go up. Oh, there's a fish. He's taking it. Dang it. These would be some really good lakes to get some underwater footage. And uh, right now it's about one o'clock. We left the trailhead, I think it was 9.40. Right now this is, we are at the second tennis lake right here and you can just about see the entire lake. And uh, there's a third one over that way. Um, we're gonna fish this for a little while. I just saw a you know really nice fish just right there, right near the shoreline. So one of the biggest fish I've seen all day. I'm gonna try probably bait and worms here and maybe flies also. Um, I think we may be getting closer. If not, then we're gonna have a tough time catching fish, but we'll see what happens. All right, so here's our three setups right here. I don't know how easy it is to see. We got the lure on the left, bait in the middle, fly on the right. Uh, we're gonna get to fishing again. So lake number three, 
might end up hitting four or five by the time we're done today. And so far they've all been come up just short. So I'm gonna flip around this lure, see what happens. And if that doesn't work, I'm probably gonna put a bobber on. Keep fishing with worms. The lake is so small and uh, I would think these fish would be just chomping at the bit for anything they see. So this is definitely weird. Cause if I was a fish and I lived in a lake this small, I would think I'd be a little desperate for food. Looks like out that way, I mean, this lake is probably no deeper than like 10, 20 feet at most, which is actually a good amount for a lake this small. But my guess is the fish could be out in the deeper water, come along to shore, cruise along the shore for food, and then go back out. Or they could be over in that shaded area, which is kind of where I just casted. I'm gonna make my way over here off this point. I don't have to spook anything, which has been a problem today. These fish are just really spooky. See one right in front of me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 he grabbed it. There's a fish right there too. That might be the one I saw earlier. Looks like a cutthroat, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if I can trick him. Went right over him. All right, I see a fish right here. I'm gonna go for him. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, just ran away. Oh, I missed him. He's coming back. Missed him again. Brought this tiny piece of worm and... Got him. Finally. First fish of the day, and yep, I was right. It is a little cutthroat. Look at that beautiful fish, though. Those colors really come out. How you can tell it's a cutthroat versus a rainbow is the spots are all over the body. You look on the top, the spots are bigger, and it obviously has a red throat right here and orange fins, but beautiful little fish. Most of the fish in this lake are probably that size, but finally got it done. And there he goes. Hooked perfectly, released safely. Can't ask for much better than that. That was nice. Yes! It almost looks like I have a better chance casting near the shore, but this is what I should have been doing all along was a bobber without that sinker. I was pretty much just sight fishing those. Looks like we just had another one. That one looked bigger. We've still got a piece of bait on there. It's likely that he's gonna come back, but I'm just happy that we caught, you know, fish so far. Looks like we're gonna catch a bunch more. Yeah, that was like my second cutthroat of the year, believe it or not. There's gotta be some bigger fish that are out here. I would not be surprised at all. Even though it is a small system of lakes, there's still a lot of room to grow in here. If I don't get a bite for a little while, I'm gonna go put another worm on and then uh, just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm seeing a lot of fish over here, getting a lot of hits. Like I said, I basically sight fished that one. Missed him like twice before. So, uh, but that's a start, you know? It's like we got another one playing with it. And I missed. Time for a new piece. Should not take long. For some reason, my bobber keeps sliding off. Oh, there goes one. Got him. I didn't think he was on there. This one looks like another cutthroat. That may be all of what's in here, but he's a little bit bigger. Still not eating size as of yet. A little skinny fish, but uh, there he goes. There's most of the biggest fish I've seen look about that size or maybe slightly bigger. So it's so clear you can just see him run off. I noticed the closer I cast the shore for the most part, the quicker I'm getting bites. There could be bigger fish out in the middle. So it's just crazy. Like with this elevation, I've got to be over four or 5,000 feet at the least, maybe in between. But uh, it's like you take, you walk 10 yards and you're just exhausted. I've been out of breath like this entire video. So it looks like technically I undershot the elevation that we're at because the elevation is 5459, which explains why it's so hard to breathe. Like even talking just wears me out up here, you know? Last couple minutes, haven't really had any bites. I've also, part of why that could be is because my bobber keeps sliding down the line. Got that one. Wait a minute, that's a rainbow. Second species of the day. You can see right here, nice pretty little rainbow. Looks like he got the hook pretty good. Well, there he goes. There's one going for it. I don't know if he still is, but oh yeah, he is. Look at that, look at that. I'm sight fishing him. I got that one too. Oh, he came off. Been fish number four, if we would have landed him. Oh, look, there's a big one that's coming for it. Was. Started reeling it and started getting a fish. This should be the money spot right here. 
Oh, yeah, look at that, look at that. Something's pulling it sideways. Just want that thing to go down. Oh, it almost did, almost did again. Not sure how much longer I'm gonna continue to fish at this lake. We still have that other lake that's just over there. And I'm guessing it's gonna be similar results, but technically, from what I heard, theoretically, all these three different lakes have three different species of fish. And I think the first one we went to had brook trout in it. This one apparently has cut, not only cutthroats, but rainbows. And the ones over there may also have cutthroats or who knows what. Got that one. Ooh, that one's like the biggest one I've caught so far, maybe. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one. Looks like another rainbow. There's a bunch of fish right here, just right in the top of the mouth. You see, that looks like a cutthroat. These may all be cutthroats, I don't know, but a couple of them looked like rainbows. That's what he looks like. This one's a little bit chubbier, so he's actually eating, unlike most of these guys. Oh, there's about 10 of them over there now. Jeez, that was almost instantaneous. I think again, we just, we definitely just broke the record. Not by much. I mean, as you can see, oh, there he goes. You can see him in the water. He's a pretty good sized fish. We got fish number five and we may be coming up on six. Yep, there's six. But this is just a slaying fest now. These fish are really coming out. Look how skinny this guy is. This is crazy. Get bigger, bud. All right, let's try that again. Oh, yeah, there's already one. They're already swarming it. That's just crazy. Oh, missed him. I was due to miss one. I got like three in a row. Oh, there he is again. Got him. And these guys are just little guys. Barely, you know, not big enough to... Uh-oh, there goes my bobber. I mean, they're just little skinny guys, but that one's actually might be a rainbow. Hopefully I can get that bobber back. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use a weightless one. Looks like we're getting another bite. I may catch a couple more of these guys. And unfortunately, we didn't get any over like six, seven inches so far. But I am going to try that other lake right over there. Probably going to be similar fishing. And maybe I can try that first lake again and get some revenge. Got him. No, I lost my bobber again. I'm not getting it back this time. Shoot, I needed that. It just will not stay on the line for whatever reason. That pretty fish. Really cool. There he goes. That's probably of the bigger variety in this lake. I'm sure there's some big ones, but I'm gonna try and get that bobber back once again. And uh, if not, I have a couple others, but none of them are weightless. So I guess we'll be seeing you at the, the third lake or fourth lake, actually, I should say. Well, there's a huge fish right there. Oh my gosh, the ones over here are big. If we can get some like that size, that would be awesome. Oh, there we go. There's a tiny one. Looks like a little cutthroat or rainbow. Right there. Oh, he's going for it. No. Oh, shoot. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, what the heck? My line slacked up. Oh, he's going for it. I can't believe I missed that fish. He was attacking it so aggressively. Oh, he swam up to it and grabbed it. Oh, there he goes. Missed that one. These fish are bigger but harder to hook, looks like. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Got him, finally. That's one of the bigger ones. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful brookie. Wow, look at the colors on that guy. It's freaking crazy. It's our biggest catch of the day. One of the biggest fish I've seen so far today, but man, what a pretty fish. Almost looks like a bull trout, but I don't think they would put those in here. Oh, well, finally got him to bite. Let's see if I can get some of these even bigger ones to bite. Oh, after I get a quick picture of this guy. Well, hey, at least I finally got this one on camera. There he goes. Wow, what a beautiful fish. High mountain trout. Done just about everything I wanted to accomplish today. Let's try and get a couple bigger ones, or ones that size would be awesome. Glad I made the move. Let's go.
Whoa. I wasn't even paying attention. I was fixing my sunglasses and that thing just plopped that thing. Oh, he's going for it. Too soon, too soon. He's come back. Got that one. Ooh, that's another nice one. And these fish are all eating size over here too. This one may actually be bigger. No, I don't think he is. Just some of the prettiest fish, high mountain fish, just perfect, beautiful fall fish. It's awesome. I'm gonna try and release this guy faster so he gets away easier. And just look at that. There he goes. Yeah, this is just awesome. I think my worm may have just flown off, but we'll find out. Initially, I was gonna go all the way over to that cove or maybe over there, but it looks like I don't even need to really. Just sight fishing about every single fish I've caught so far. I think we're close to probably 10. Definitely enough for a video. Way more than I expected and bigger fish than I expected. For a while, I didn't think I was gonna get anything, so I'm happy. All right, well, unfortunately, we might not be here a lot longer, however, in less amount of time, we got more fish and bigger fish, I would say. So this is definitely a success. I'm going to try and catch a few more, a couple more. Still see some of them swimming near the surface. It looks like near the shore. That's probably the best bet right now. These are some of the prettiest brooks I've seen, especially in Oregon. I'm about to catch another one. If I do get this fish, I may do an underwater release. I just lost him. Got him. It's another fish that's probably about 11, 12 inches. Just beautiful fish. I'm gonna try and do an underwater release uh, real quickly, unless he gets off. These fish just have, have so much heart to them and so much fight. That's why I love brook trout. They're one of my most favorite trout, probably because I don't get to catch them very often, but if I was at a place like this all the time, it'd be awesome. It's just strange, like, I've noticed your best bet when you're fishing high lakes a lot of times is fishing, you know, within 5, 10 feet from shore, which is just crazy because most other places, it's the opposite. So watch this. Put it right here and catch this guy. Got him. Just so much fun. Makes me not want to leave, but. <laughs> wow, just that one doesn't have very many spots. But look at those orange and white fins. That cream sickle combination is just awesome. There he goes. Probably gonna try and walk around, maybe just to that corner. I'm in no hurry to leave, but you know, it's been a great day. And I'm guessing these are just average size in this lake, which is. Bigger than most of these lakes, most of the other lakes, the average to bigger fish you could not survive off of. These ones it looks like you could, even the smaller ones. Now I'm searching for a monster. Oh. Can't believe I missed that fish. Was not paying attention. Yeah, nothing like catching high alpine mountain fish in 5,500 feet. That's something I don't think I've ever done before. Actually, this is probably the highest I've ever been. Just missed a fish right before I stopped recording. He's playing with it. Come on now. I don't know how well that underwater footage turned out on that one fish because uh, he kind of slipped out faster than I thought. That's what I mean when I say that these fish are just so full of life and so full of fight. That cove, I just casted almost all the way over there in that shaded area. It looks really good. Right, I'm gonna put one more piece on and once I lose that, we can leave. Getting a bite, getting a bite. Got him. Feels like another good size. Oh, wow. Wow. That is cool. That is like the coolest colors I've ever seen. It's not as big, but he's, you can tell he's a male based on the size of his head and the, how dark he is. Females typically have lighter colors. It's possible that these fish spawn in October. That could be why they're so feisty. Wow, that is a beautiful fish. I'm going to, uh, Try and get an underwater release. Maybe this time it'll go better. Oh, 
All right, so of course I didn't have my camera on, but I just slipped in the water. That's why it's all muddy. And uh, yeah, so my shorts and shoes are now soaked. I think my phone just barely didn't get wet. Even if it did, I think it would be fine, but probably gonna be near wrapping up the footage for what you saw today. I think that fish would have been a good fish to end off with, but uh, I'm gonna try until this piece is gone. So I don't get anything for a little bit. We're gonna call it quits and it was a dang good day of fishing. If you ask me, I haven't had a day that good in a while and let alone in October. So we try one more cast. Like I said, this is the fourth lake. Ended up being the best one as far as fishing goes. So that's pretty unexpected. But yeah, it's it's a paradise up here. It's, I don't know if you guys can... Uh, see all these rock cliffs and, and just pristine pure water that I'm fortunate enough to have found that not a ton of people seem to fish. Thank <laughs> you.